Hello guys, um, Luke here, and I am doing a comparison of three robots today, some toy robots, um, so, yeah, I'm going to, uh, get the boxes so you can, you know, take a guess of probably what they are, if you, if you know, so here's, let me get this box, so Mr. Robot, right here, Sparkling Mike, right here. <clears throat> Space Robot, right here. Box, though. So yeah, so first we're going to talk about the boxes. This box looks really nice, you know, I like the art. <clears throat> I like how, like... They they put the robot here and then they put the lasers coming through from his eyes and you can see down here are some cars and they're on fire. Well not on fire but like they're like you know, like tipped over and stuff. And then you could see some people, I think like well I see people, I don't know if you see it. I see some yeah, I see some houses and uh, so let me zoom up so I can show you. Oh, you can't zoom up on this. Sorry. Um. So yes. So um. You. C I love the art. It reminds me of Godzilla. Godzilla. And yeah. So now let's take a look here. So space robot. So it says. Pull up to walk. So it's probably you know the thing that it has on its head. Um. Something make antenna. Oh, I I it is actually a part of the sentence that I missed. Sorry. Pull antenna up to make him walk. Okay, it sparks. Watch him walking. Push antenna down to stop him walking, and to stop him walking. So so you can see up here that it shows an arrow right here of the robot. If you pull it up, he walks, and if you pull it down, he doesn't. So what else? So here, it says space robot, and then it says, Attention, this is not a toy for adult. I mean, this is not a toy for adult. <clears throat> this is not a toy for adult collectors only. Well, I know I'm not an adult, okay? I'm just a kid, only 10 years old. Uh, okay, I know I'm not an adult, right? And I like to collect most of these robots, though. Yeah, so this is this robot. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next box. And guys, we're still doing a comparison here. So, I'm not just showing you, you know, just robots and then that's it. I'm still doing the comparison. I need to get through this stuff. For you guys to know everything. So sparkling Mike walking tin toy. I like I really like this box. I like how like the person put the sparks here when I can you know because he's sparkling and this is for adult collectors only not a toy like that again. But I already explained to you. So there's wind up motor wound up wind up motor sparkling action on and off switch. And uh and I think that off and on switch is, uh, well, actually, never mind. But you can see this on the box, and you're probably like, oh, maybe that's the thing that you use, like the other robot, like, that you use to turn on and off. On and off. No, you're, no, you don't use that. That's just probably for, like, decoration. So, yeah, um, I really like it. And then this is, <clears throat> wait, let me read this. We are excited to bring back the classic 50s. Oh, so this is what the... F this robot was from the 50s. Nice. Sparkling Mike. This futuristic-looking fu futuristic robot has a simple, solid design and hypnotizing stare. Wind him up, set him down, turn him on, and stand back. This walking tin robot it has a powerful wind-up motor that gives him mighty sparking... Sparking action. Sparkling Mike is a great addition to any robot collection. And then this says, the Skyling Brothers, or whatever. You know, I really like this, what it says, like, 
because like this is from the classic fifties. Uh, the stair, future, future, future. Let me see that word again. Futuristic robot and sparkling action and stand back because he's gonna do something amazing with the sparking. And now for the last box. This one. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. You see how this is like this way and like how the other boxes are like this way and you're like, wait, why half of it's not like this way? And you're probably like also thinking, what well, is a robot fat? Or is it like a is it a spaceship? It doesn't look like a spaceship because you could simply see the robot on the box and it does not look like a spaceship at at, at all. But the robot let me explain to you this. The robot is actually you know the you know, turned down this way. Like not like standing up, but just turned down this way. You know? So yeah. So Mr. Robot, the mechanical brain. No offense, but Mr. Robot is probably a really dumb name. Well, it's not like a dumb, like, your dumb name, or... It, it's probably, like, a name, like, a lot of people use, you know? They should use something for, like, like, robotic robot, or... Like, how, like, they're, like, sparkling Mike, you know? Sparkling, and then they just get the name, you know? But Mr. Robot, you know? But I like how it says the mechanical brain, because... Some people don't use that, okay? They don't say mechanical brain. They just ro robotic brain or just ro robo brain or something. Watch lights go on and off while he walks. Operates on flashing batteries. Make him walk by winding up spring. Wa winding up spring mechanicism thing. I don't even know what that means. So, this box looks sort of dirty because you could see some white stuff like right there i think i know why because maybe like these robots were all made in, like you know classic because like how they sing with sparkling mike he was made in the 50s right so that's why it looks like this because it's old you could also see here they could put batteries in his head but we don't need to put that now because you know i already did or something to just here for itself. You can see the switch. The switch, right? And then there's something on the back. Lever on back on head and operates like Oh! So it lights up. Nice. Wow. Okay. So, I'm going to do a comparison now with the boxes. And we're going to the robot next. This video just took seven minute, minute Oh, eight, eight. Eight minutes. Just, just look. I'm seeing the thing. N never mind. Just forget. forget that. Okay, so the two boxes. These boxes are like the same height. The exact same height. And I do love the boxes. Like, it looks like they're like fighting each other right now. Like how he's like using his lasers and he's, he's using his sparkling power. And like, you know, they could use each other, you know, stuff. But here's the deal. Sometimes when someone draws a picture of a robot on a box, sometimes they don't even look like the robot, you know, that's inside, right? This doesn't even look like this, so I'm going to show you. It doesn't have sharp teeth, and it does have much more, okay? Just so you know. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, the robots. So let's start... The robot for this, right? Or now let's start with this one. This one. So here he comes. Here he is. How I told you, he does not look like anything on the box. Look, see? It looks really nice, you know. Of the decoration, there's there's three kinds, right? There's this one, and then there's a um, there's a gray one and the blue one or silver one or whatever. I really like this. I like um, I like this design here, like how you can see the switch and the motors and the light bulb that you can see and the batteries and the wires and the gears and. And stuff, and you could see like, 
this, and then it looks like the thing that you could pull off and on. And behind it, you can see like a little clock, and this looks like a little bit of a jetpack. It seems, or batteries, I don't know. But you could see like a little bit inside, like how you see that red part? See the red thing? There's probably some parts inside. So yeah, and if you look through the hole of the key, you, maybe you could see, you know, some stuff from the robot inside. But these are really nice robots looking. And uh, I like how they're like old, it's pretty old, but you know, it's collector's items and stuff. But for adults though, but I'm not an adult. So let me just put them on. So then, what you do, so I just switch them around, you're like, why isn't he coming on? Remember, I gotta pull this thing. Here I go. It's pretty loud. You can see the sparks coming from its mouth. And it's coming from his eyes. See? A little bit? Nope. Wait, can you see it? That was pretty terrific, sort of. Okay. So now, let's move on to the next robot. Here comes. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Sparkling Mike. This is Sparkling Mike. Another sparkling robot. Yes. We could see him in nice detail. You can see his uh, hypnotizing eyes, sort of. Sort of. Um, I like how I like the gray, although a lot of grayness. Like he's from the 50s. That I have him right now. Uh, it's 2014, so it's pretty a long time ago in the 50s. You can see the antenna, the ears, right? You can see behind him it's an off and on switch. You could see um, the hand and the and the switch. I mean the um, key. The key actually uh, was here attached. It's it, when the people were ma making it, it was already attached to uh, the robot. So it sounds like you have to put it on on it. Right? And on it it says it says a word. Hold on. Skylink. I can remember how it said the Skylink's brothers on, on the box. Yeah. That. They put their names on the robot, so that's a neat idea. You can see this little thing. It looks like this is some sort of laser thing, and then it looks like he's trying to aim. And here I love this part because it, it shows you the, the sparks inside and the legs. Great, and you can see some stuff inside the legs, like, I can see, you know, it looks like a little tiny wheels inside, so it could help it move, because some of the usual robots have the wheels to help them, you know, slide across, like if you're on a table, and then they can just slide across the table with the wheels. So yeah, I like this robot, it's nice, and the head could turn, the head could not turn on the space robot. I call him, I used to call him Sparky. I, I don't know, I, it's just a name that, that goes with Spark. But yeah, uh, that head cannot move because it's still really very attached to it. So, so yeah. So let me put it on, really. It's, it, it's pretty old, though. But it still works. So if I wind it up. Alright, so you wind it up first. Oh! Oh, there we go. It looks like I just winded up a little bit, though. But it, it's on on, so let me just put it on off so no batteries waste. So now it's on off. So, yeah. So now, for our last robot. And then we're going to do the conversion. This robot. Here he is. The robot with lots of features, nice features. This robot is a robot that is really nice. I got it for Christmas. Well, in 2013 Christmas. 
I love it. This robot is really nice. 